no tractor challenge. We are, I think, now on episode 23, which is quite exciting. And uh, we are taking the last load of silage out of our lovely bunker silos down to the BGA to be processed. And as luck would have it, the grass is ready once again to be uh, harvested. And yeah, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, I've got about three or four different plans in my head at the moment of things we can do to uh, help progress things along with the uh, the challenge here. Uh, most of them are sort of money related, but at the same time, not exactly money related. Because like if I I'm going to end up having to spend lots of money to make them happen, and half of me is like, yeah, we should do this and buy this and that and the other and get uh, a bunch of different processes up and running and things going and carrying on and whatnot. And then half of me is like, well, why would you want to do that when you're all already chugging along nicely and you don't need to go spending a lot of money to keep things going? Let's just have a quick look at the old thing here. Uh, Digestate-wise, we are doing quite well. Got almost 300,000 litres there. A little bit of electric charge left from the previous load we'd run through. And uh, that's going good there. Um, all our other productions are pootling along nicely. Uh, we've got plenty of tomatoes and lettuce in there. Although we do have plenty of them coming out of the old greenhouses as well. So we may have to sell that in the not too distant future. Uh, yeah, we're storing uh, just over a thousand litres of lettuce and um, 1700 of tomatoes. So that's good. Uh, yeah, that's chugging along nicely. Uh, what else is that? Well, lime, we don't have anything in. Uh, the um, carpentry, here we are, yes. Uh, that's chugging along very slowly. Um, as you can see there, we've got 13,000 litres of wood in that one. Um, that is uh, two trees worth of wood, basically, is what we got in there. So. Um, one of my plans was potentially to um, switch that out for a different uh, carpentry, which may work a bit quicker. Uh, so I'm pondering that. That obviously is going to cost a little bit of money, but if we do it now, we'll lose wood. So I might wait until the, um, the majority of that has been used and see what we get. Uh, the other option is to put in a sawmill to make us planks. Uh, oops, it's still in reverse. Um, but the sawmill would require an extra purchase of land because there's um, not much left in the area down here that we own. Um, do we own that? I think we own that. I can't actually remember if we do. Or, yeah, I think we did. That was part of the uh, the setup cost. Uh, what we bought to begin with was over there, um, or what we did with the money rather. We. Uh, yeah, we uh, bought that stuff over there. Um, and we don't have any room on these plots without uh, cutting into either grass fields or um, actual fields. So there's that. Alternatively, we could start doing some more with silage because uh, we've got these grass fields here. Uh, but again, that would require uh, more investment in buildings, either um, some sort of uh, silo to ferment things or more bunker silage clamp things here uh, which again not impossible but you know, you're looking at uh, a fair old chunk of money coming out again for uh, which way am I going with this uh, oh, let's park it over there uh, yeah so there's a few options I think the one I've settled on for now is uh, to go ahead and uh, plant some sugar beets because um, we can use sugar beets we can use the most of without paying too much extra. I mean, we'll have to do um, buy a topper and a um, uh, harvester thing. Uh, now, I'm just thinking the drive along, uh, pull along kind on the back of this lorry because uh, there's the, uh, the pull along one at the back and uh, we could fit the old front three point front lifter thing on the front and get the um, topper going. Uh, but yes, uh, what we are going to be doing today specifically is, um, I was about to say mowing the wheat, <laughs> cutting the uh, the wheat field. So, 
we get to take a nice run out in our lovely new harvester. And if I can get out of that noisy shed, uh, we are going to leave this over here for now. Let's just pop that on the ground. And we are going to get the uh, fancy new header that we got out of here. Or I could just push the... Uh, thing. Is that not going to... Did I not get a trailer hitch with this thing? That's got a trailer hitch on it. Here the wall there. So why is that not... That's peculiar. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, adjust this in the thing to give it a longer trailer hitch. Because if that's not going to fit under there, that's going to be really yeah. awkward. Do we have any trailer hitch options? No, we don't. Interesting. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that's the uh, recommended trailer hitch for this combine. But, uh, who knows? Okay, well, uh, we can't hitch up to that. Not that I'd line it up properly, but you know. Uh, okay, so we'll have to uh, get that out quick. Uh, if I pop this back in the shed... Oh no, just back over here and leave it here for a minute. Turn that off because it's a bit loud. And get back in the lorry again. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I'm not sure why that's doing that. Why do I keep leaving things in reverse as well? That's awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's bizarre. I'm pretty sure that is the... Uh, uh, unless it's um, something weird with that on it at the moment, or... Uh, I don't know. I am just very confused, so we'll just leave that sitting out there for now. Uh, oh, cracking, I'm running into everything. And let's go get the header. Again, with the reverse gear. I guess that's going to be the, uh, the trend for today, isn't it? Reverse gear. That. Let's see if we can actually make our way over there without crashing into anything. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, I do want to repair this, because I just noticed something is not very well repaired, and it's probably the other one, the header. It is, yeah, let's repair that. That's good. That's right, I think we bought that used uh, the last time. So, yes, here we go. So, yeah, we've got this uh, wheat field up here, which is now ready to uh, to harvest. Uh, now, this we are going to be opening the harvester first. Uh, yeah, we're going to be putting this in the... Uh, mostly into the uh, flower production area, so we can get uh, a nice spot of flower on the go. Um, Beyond that, uh, we'll probably be saving some for... Uh, we're going to put some in the seed generator as well, because that could use... Uh, definitely use some. Um, depending on how much we get off of this, uh, we will uh, determine how much goes where. But I'm going to put at least a 5,000 litre of crumbs, it just occurred to me. Not that one. Is it that one? Just realised we are not. Uh, 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 there we go. Enable straw swap. That's the, what the problem was. And yeah. here I am, merrily destroying profit because we can throw that straw into the BGA. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, what was I saying? I've completely forgot what I was saying now. Uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, the um, thing and the. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the seed factory and the flour, flour mill, so we can get more bread on the go. Uh, those are the priorities for this. Uh, yeah, we've still got enough of the uh, other crops to do, I want to say, basically a uh, another 500 uh, or 5,000 worth of um, wheat. And I think the other, it was barley was the other one that we were missing. Now we'll get past this tree here and then uh, I'll hit the uh, thing and have a quick look. Ok, 
because if I do it too soon I'll smash into that tree. I know I will. I'm just that good at trees. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick look now. Uh, seeds. Yeah, it's barley and wheat that we need. Um, we may have some oat left, I'm not sure. Let's zing up here quick and look. Uh, oats, 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 oats. Yeah, we've got uh, another 4,000 litres of oats, which I think we'll just put in there as well. Um, that way we can... Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, we've still got sor a little bit of sorghum, so we could maybe put a bit more of that. We do have corn. So yeah, we may uh, throw a little bit more of everything in there. Um, this field, uh, this is the one I'm thinking of uh, redoing as sugar beet, because uh, there's three things we can do with the sugar beet. One of them is uh, make sugar, obviously. We've got the uh, production building down there, that can make some sugar for us. Uh, it's not going to sell for a humongous amount, but uh, for the amount of sugar beet that we get, uh, it's certainly not going to hurt to plonk a trailer full in there and get some sugar pallets out. Uh, let's, let's see what um, the wrong button does for us. Let's see what uh, sugar... Yeah, sugar beets 100 and... or like 200 and something. Sugar itself sells for 900 and something. Oh, crikey, I'm full already. And I'm driving through the crop. That is not a good sign. See, kids, that's what happens when you text and drive. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, leave that running for a minute and go get the trailer. <laughs> oh, lummy, that did not go well, did it? That, that was totally my fault. Uh, but yeah, sugar sells for a good um, 900 or so per thing. And the recipe for it... Uh, if I... Oh, yeah, I have to just disconnect leave this here. Uh, the recipe for the sugar is, if we have a quick look here, sugar, beet sugar, two beets to one sugar. And we all know how well beets perform when it comes to uh, uh, actually giving you a decent load of crop. You pretty much get uh, quite a lot. So that field up there that the um, wheat is on at the moment, that should get us a massive amount of sugar beet, I would say. You know, I, I would easily reckon we could uh, get uh, two or three, four, five, six trailer loads out of that, no problem. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's a plan for future us to uh, take care of. Uh, now I'm going to have to drive on the grass a little bit here just to unload, but that's fine. There we go. There, turn that off, hop back in this, and watch it unload. Uh, yeah, and, and the other thing with the um, sugar beet is we can put it into the biogas plant. And the handy thing about the biogas plant here is it takes sugar beet and sugar beet cut. So, what we are going to do with that in mind is I think it would buy a new trailer when, when it comes to the time we're going to do that because there is a rather handy um, trailer, it's a Flegel trailer, it's about 51 grand I think, and uh, what it's got on it is a uh, beet cutting tool, it's the, uh, the beet ninja, Flegel beet ninja. <laughs> so uh, basically what, uh, it works as a regular trailer, takes um, standard trailer crops I believe, but um, it gives you the option when you are dumping the uh, sugar beet to either cut it first, or just dump it straight as. And I've got stuck on the tree. Thanks tree, well done you. Totally not my fault at all. No idea where I'm going now, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can actually cut the sugar beet straight out of the trailer as you're um, emptying it, which is very nice. So I'm tempted to see what that does for us in terms of um, uh, you know, because obviously we'll get the uh, extra sugar beet uh, processing through the uh, uh, biogas plant. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see if that trailer actually gives us, uh, uh, when you cut the sugar beet, if it increases the amount of sugar beet you get, or sugar beet cut that you get out of it. Because you would think it would do. Because, you know, one sugar beet, when you cut it, it's going to cut down into, uh, like, two or three chunks of... Um, 
uncut or cut sugar beet. So whether or not that actually changes the volume, I don't know. It might, it might not. Uh, but you know, it's a second process, so basically we can use it twice in the BGA, which is really quite tasty. So uh, that's the plan with that. Uh, now this wheat is actually yielding quite well indeed. I was not expecting that. I mean, I should have expected that because I know stuff off these fields does yield quite well. But uh, yeah, I was not uh, not expecting it to come through that quick. I just realised I had the uh, time down really low as well for where I was trying to figure stuff out and doing a bit of uh, a bit of thinking in the shop trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue on with this field and try not to run over any more of it. Um, yeah, we all know how harvesting goes, so uh, we'll uh, pick up um, probably later on once it's completed. Uh, I'll either be uh, transporting stuff over to the various places, or we might come back when uh, we're picking up the straw with a loading wagon, and uh, I'll show you all the uh, distribution things that we've done with it. Uh, so yeah, I shall continue on doing the, uh, the harvesting here. We are already almost full again. That is pretty good, just as we're coming up to the trailer too. <laughs> nice. Okay, yes, so I shall carry on with this and see you all in a bit. Okay, we are about two and a half headlands in, and uh, we've got one full trailer of uh, wheat already. So we're just coming down here to pop it in the old uh, productions building to get that on the go again. That way we can have bread running as quickly as possible. Or not, because I managed to completely miss the, uh, the drop-off point, because me and trailers do not go well together. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Lovely, that is all emptying out down here. And let's check this. And see where we... Yep, wheat flour is on the go again, so that's good. Hopefully we'll get uh, some of that coming out pretty quick. Where are we? Flour, flour, flour. Flour. Come on, I know you're down here somewhere. Have I gone past you? I've probably gone past you, haven't I? There it is. Yeah, so that's uh, it's set to distributing so that it goes to itself and then uh, automatically gets turned into bread, which is lovely. Okay, so and we are off back to continue harvesting. Uh, well, that's lovely, that is. I just realised I completely fluffed the last 15 minutes of recording. <laughs> for 10 minutes or so. Um, yes, so we are now on our third trailer full of straw. Uh, I had come back in around about the uh, 12 noon mark to uh, show you everything and, and check on the prices and the values and stuff. Uh, basically, what it looks like we've got is um, a little bit under 3,000 euros per um, almost a trailer's worth of processed straw in this, which doesn't seem like a lot but we are getting digestate from it as well. Uh, so if we pop into here, um, we may actually not fit all of this in there now, which is going to be fun. But uh, we are up to 314,000 litres of digestate, which is brilliant. Uh, yeah, it's topped out. There's still a little bit of straw left in this. So uh, we'll have to poodle around and do some other tasks while we are waiting for stuff to happen, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so essentially we get uh, a little bit under, there's like um, 2,700 euros per trailer, roughly. Um, which, you know, it's probably about the same as the uh, value of it at the moment, I think. Uh, biogas 62. Yeah, that might even be um, that much. You know, I'm not sure how those prices calculate because we've got the uh, separate diesel and electricity now, but there's no actual, uh, not diesel, um, me uh, methane, or methane, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, yeah, we don't actually have an active sell point for that, so we just have to sell it through the uh, through the B uh, BGA itself. So, 
Ha, almost. Just got to wait a tiny bit longer, and we can put the rest of that in there. Uh, but yes, so I'm going to carry on uh, with the uh, picking up and the loading of the straw, and uh, then we have to work on flipping the field. Now, I'm not entirely sure what sugar beets are going to take in terms of um, uh, fertilizer and stuff, so uh, we may hit it with the uh, a little bit of digestate first. There we go, lovely. Let's go get the next load. Uh, yes, I mean, you've all seen digestate spreading before. It might pop in briefly while that's happening, just so you can see it going. Uh, and then we are going to uh, need to cultivate it. Probably, yeah, use the little um, low spec cultivator. And then I think it's the planter that we have that does sugar beet. So, uh, yeah, we can't um, get away with the no till thing on it, which is not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Uh, yeah, so I shall carry on with that and uh, see you all again in a little while, I think. Alright, we are back doing some digestate spreading now, or dribbling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got the last of the uh, straw picked up and taken over to the uh, uh, digestate thing. Oops, hit a tree. Uh, not to the uh, to the BGA. Uh, so that is now processing. Uh, we'll probably get a little bit more income in shortly. Let's see. Oh yeah, still got quite a bit to process, but that's okay. And we have uh, taken a little bit of the old uh, digestate out from there now. And I've run into another tree. Maybe I shouldn't have trees right around the fields like this. Because I seem to be having issues getting past them without clouting them with my dribble bar. It's a good thing the game doesn't actually calculate damage based on all the stuff that you hit. Because if it did, I'd be well, well in the hole for repairs. There we go, that's got it sorted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so far things are progressing nicely. We've got uh, uh, a good bit of so uh, straw gone in there. We've got plenty of wheat left off of that. Uh, we'll probably pop another um, thing uh, a bit into the uh, bakery once that's uh, used up what it's got. Uh, we'll see. You know, like I say, we've got 25,000 litres or so of that left, so that is a good thing. Okay, I just realised now we've used all the stuff out of the uh, main tank, so I'm now uh, feeding it into the back tank from the uh, lorry tank itself, so we get our uh, precision farming information again. Uh, yep, but... Uh, yeah, this is all working quite nicely indeed. Getting a little bit of a first coat of um, fertilizer on here. Now it's probably going to take, um, I would say, about three to four loads, maybe. Just depends on how uh, how lucky we get with it, because it's uh, you know it's pretty good since we've got the. Um, fancy attachment on this thing it uh, I think helps it use a bit less but I'm not completely sure but uh, either way it is uh, doing stuff nicely for us and uh, getting that little bit of fertilizer down so we can use um, a lot less chemical fertilizer on here from the uh, solid spreader that we have which is perfectly fine with me and now since we are we're fairly without now I think yeah, we'll take this time just to head back to the, uh, if I can press the right button and fold it. No, yes. Ah. There we go. That's the correct button. <laughs> yeah, we are going to take a trip back down to the BGA and uh, replenish. Otherwise, I'll get like a third of a way through a, um, a line there and it'll just look weird. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to carry on with this, and uh, then we'll come back uh, when we are either cultivating, yeah, probably cultivating, I think. That's um, that's what we've got to do next, because I don't think our planter, let's check. Uh, oh, there's some interesting things in the sale. Hello. Ah, grape harvester. Or olive harvester, oh, olive harvester, sorry. 
That's interesting. You don't often see those in the sale. If only I was doing um, those things. Uh, olives. <laughs> uh, what were we looking for? Planter. Yes. Uh, yep, yeah, it is not a direct drill planter, which is fine. Uh, that just means we'll have to run the cultivator over it uh, once we get done popping down this digestate. Right, we've been uh, getting on with the cultivating and I completely forgot I was supposed to hit the record button. <laughs> but yeah, we are mostly done with this now. Just a couple of uh, couple of rows now and uh, we are going to be good and ready to plant. Now, I have made one uh, small decision while uh, I've been uh, doing this and sort of been mulling it around in my head a bit and uh, what we are going to do uh, either this episode or next episode, we are going to sell our uh, um, weeder. Well, one of our weeders. Because technically we've got a, um, uh, what do you call it, like a small um, small weed picker-upper thing. It's like a 9 meter job that um, also seeds grass and uh, canola. But uh, that's the one we're going to keep. But the other one we've got is like a six metre hoe or something. It sounds so inappropriate saying that, but that's what it's called. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, it's, it's a slightly different one, but that does medium weeds. Uh, the reason we're going to sell that one is... Um, I'm not sure if this is a, um, a bug in the game generally, something with precision farming or quite what's caused it. But basically, uh, the way the weeds seem to work at the moment is you go from uh, growing to medium weeds. There's no, like, first stage of weeds anymore, which seems a bit weird. Uh, so if I hop out of the lorry here in just a moment, let's get lined up for this again. Yeah, if I hop out here, uh, you can see... Actually, you can't because nothing's planted. Um, but yeah, what it would say is something to the effect of um, uh, weeds are growing, but it won't say what stage they're in. Or so something to that effect. But if you hit it with a um, basic weeder, it'll get rid of that, uh, that status. But nothing shows up on the field. There's no actual growth visible on the field. But if you wait a day, then suddenly it will jump up to medium weeds that you need the fancy hoe to get rid of, or spot sprayers. Well, the thing that's uh, popped up recently, uh, it was probably a little while ago now, um, it was an update to the uh, Caverneland Vicon pack mods that Giants put out for this. Um, and uh, what it did was, it put... Um, the spot spraying technology onto the Cavernaland sprayer and uh, it jacks the price up a little bit to uh, about 60, 65 grand but if we take our weeder down and sell it that'll only, uh, it'll knock off a good 20 grand or so so I think that is probably what we are going to do next time maybe, or maybe right at the end of this episode because uh, next thing we need to get on and do here is the seeding and this is very special seeding this this is going to be our sugar beet field because that is another impending cost that we will have is sugar beeting equipment now I should be able to sugar beet, there we go and uh, if we go down here to the magic seed bag we can hopefully pick them up through the wall Oh, no, back it up. There we go. Lovely, got some seed in there now. <laughs> I know that's a bit cheaty, but, you know, I won't tell anyone if... Oh, God, that's gone a bit wrong. That is not supposed to do that. Okay, I'm going to nudge it again in an effort to straighten it out. And get the... Oh, cracky, don't do that. That would be very, very wrong. <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that. Let's go the other way. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm going to get on with the planting. And, uh, uh, yep, we shall catch up again in a little bit once uh, we have made some headway with that. Alright, 
we are back once again with the old cedar here. Uh, we've had to fill it up at least once so far, but we are chugging along nicely with the old, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Um, seeds of uh, the sugar beet. <laughs> I was about to say we're sowing the seeds of love, but that's a completely different thing and a song from like the 90s, I think. But yeah, no one needs to know about that. <laughs> but yeah, we are progressing nicely along now, getting uh, all these fields done. I'll tidy those bits up on the way back. Um, yeah, we're getting this field turned around nicely. And we should have some sugar beet coming up here at some point in the not too distant future. Now, um, I think next time we'll go ahead and get that weeder, um, or not weeder, but the uh, uh, sprayer. Uh, just in case anything random pops up on the uh, shopping list, uh, not shopping list, the um, sales page, because you never know with that. Those sales pages can be a little bit tricksy. Sometimes things will pop up that you don't expect. You know, like that olive harvester that we just saw, or at least saw earlier today. I think it's still there. Yeah. Here we got the olive harvester, a little leap hair thing, and uh, the crone baler, but uh, yeah, we're not going to, we're not worried about those, but yeah, you never know, uh, maybe tomorrow uh, something will come up that we uh, need immediately, um, yeah, it could be a sugar beet thing pops up, or something else pops up that we didn't, uh, didn't think about, you just don't know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to carry on with this. Um, next time I think we'll have some produce to sell as well from the uh, uh, greenhouses down there. And we'll do the same sort of thing we did last time. Um, top off the uh, pr um, production facility and then sell the rest. But uh, yeah, that is a problem for future us to deal with. So yeah, uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then please give us a like. and. Do consider hitting the old subscribe button there if you haven't already. And comments are always welcomed, and if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, uh, you know, I do really hope you are enjoying this challenge as much as I am. It's uh, quite fun having to do things a little bit differently from usual. Uh, I can't remember too many other times I've done farming with a lorry. <laughs> uh, I have used a Unitrack in the past, but that's a bit different. <laughs> but yes. Uh, yes, I do hope you are all enjoying it as much as I am. And I do hope we will see you next time here on the No Track Challenge. Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>